Here we go then, part two of this opening round from Canada. Welcome along. Hopefully you've seen part one and you enjoyed it and you're back for more for race and part number two, races five to eight. Let me know how many points you've scored so far if you have completed your rounds down below. Now we are on race five. We've scored 180 so far after a difficult matchup in race one and we dropped a point in race three as well what do we got in here though we have got baku zanvort again japan and we round off with canada in the wet like qualifying so we've got overtaking and speed first of all in this coming track so we have got our speed set up on and we have got our drivers ready to go can we still score some big points because baku can be an absolute pain here we go then, round number five, and we have got the Hutch bot. So this is the Hutch bot, which is a series bot or GP bot, which basically takes off the average score of what is expected at that level. So you can see here it is 1474, and we are pretty much well under it at sort of 1352 or whatever we're on. So let's see where we qualify. Now, it's always a bit of a tricky track from the start. Alonso Verstappen, 18 and 20. So you can see how we get pushed back. Now, overtaking and speed, I am going to select Firework because I need that race start still. We're going to do free soft, four medium, four medium, free soft. Let's see, though, can we score big points at a track where it is easy to drop the points? We need a good start or a better start. Not too well so far unless we can get through. And you can see, even with that race start, feels kind of pointless to take it because we only got up to P80. We didn't even move positions, actually. So, yeah, maybe just taking a boost without race start at Baku would be a lot better than what we have taken here. Now, we are going to be quick. Alonso really struggling, even though he's got nearly, I think, 99 overtaking with the boost. Only P16. Now, we are catching up. We're going to be on the better strategy out there. And we've got to conserve down the straight. So as they come down first time, you can see speed. We're not losing any. Maybe we can get Daddy Boy Stroll. We can. Can we get Gasly? We can. So up to P12 and P14 now. Now I see a speed circuit. So power unit doesn't replenish as quick as usual. But we are still coming through. It is chocker block in this middle section. But we are through into P10. Not going to get any higher. Now we've got to just get some power unit back. P10, P12. Look at Albon out front in P1. We are never catching him. Conserve down the straight again. He's probably on free soft. He might go to hard though. That could be our saving grace. Back to mediums. Got to push as much as we can though here. Plenty of time later on to push as well. Need to try and catch Albon a little bit because he is motoring up front. P7, P9. And now we, we're under a little bit of pressure. Let's get Alonso through still. Make sure he doesn't lose as much, any time more than needed. And then he'll come in. I mean, Albon's already coming out the pits. That is crazy how fast this AI is. Verstappen will come back for softs. Albon... On the hard, potentially catchable, going to be tough. And there's a safety car, which means he is now catchable. Verstappen, that is absolutely perfect. I tell you who it's not perfect for, Fernando Alonso. Just pitted P15. I mean, we might as well pit to softs. We've got a couple of laps as well. Oh, Alonso getting very unlucky. But... Let's bring you up to speed as we get racing again shortly, which will be lap six. So just really two lap push. That's it. So about to get racing then. And Alonso is back in P17. This is not good for Fernando. We're going to get a few pit stops come in, though. And we're racing again. And there's a lot of cars coming in the pit. That releases Verstappen. It's going to release Alonso as well. So not the end of the world. He's up to P6 already. Verstappen hits the front with two laps to go. Alonso is flying, and we, this actually could save us a little bit here because I think Albon was going to be too hard to catch, 
And now we've got the rival on hard, so we're going to nearly sneak past Albon as well. But Verstappen has disappeared out front in Baku. Alonso now has Charles Leclerc ahead on the medium, so one more car to try and get past. We should have so much more speed. We've got the power unit. We've got P2. Safety car to the rescue, you could you could say. Let me know what you think down below, though. Do you think we would have scored 47 without the safety car? We did already pit. We did have Albon out front on hard tyres, which is very slow. I don't think I'd have got there. But a safety car absolutely helps. So Verstappen with a nice little win to take 24 points. And let's see Alonso with P2. That is what we needed. So rival bot comes home. P4 for Leclerc. And P14 for Hamilton. Let's show you what the rival uses though, because these bots use a balanced setup, which is never good. So even though it's a high team score, it is not a good setup. You can see debrief. Level 5, level 4, and the car balanced. We smash that. On to Zanvoort we go then. So Baku accomplished. Zanvoort in the wet to come. Can we make amends for the one point drop in part number one earlier on today? Obviously 100% wet. We've had this in qualifying. 4 wet, 4 wet is what we're going to be doing. Could sneak a 5 if time management allows us. But P21, P22, both at the back. Overtaking and cornering, so we're going to go for Copper again. We need that little bit of race start boost for both of them. And the problem is traffic here. So let's see what we can go ahead. We need perfect fast starts. And there's another one of these tracks like Baku where you just don't seem to get a massive race start. Now, Verstappen has finally moved ahead in P15, and that's a little bit better for us. Again, Alonso actually coming with him a little bit, which is good. Usually, we don't get both drivers making moves, and now we finally do. So, Verstappen coming through. You can see Albon out front. That is who we've got to catch. We've got to catch him quickly because we want to be at the front when these pit, because otherwise, it's going to be carnage. Verstappen coming round, Alonso coming round two. Down the straight, there's a move on Checo up to P7. Alonso into P11. We're making a lot of ground. And the old switcheroo for Verstappen didn't work. But now it's P7, P10. Got to keep pushing Verstappen. We've got to create a gap for the drivers as well to come into the pits. And you can see Alonso... Into P, I think he nearly got P9 then. He did nearly get P9. We've got Hamilton ahead of us. Now we just need to gain some power unit. We're not that far away with Alonso, which is good. Just got to gain now on the cars around us. Verstappen into P5. And P4 and P3. And now a small move by Alonso to take P9. So really good racing now. Albon ahead of us. Now we've got to keep, we can push Alonso a little bit more. Now we've got the gap. P8. Still got a little bit of nice power unit stored in as well. As we do, nearly take the lead. Alonso still motoring along in P7. Now the question is, when do they pit? Lap 4 or lap 5? Lap 4 is what it looks like to be. As there goes Verstappen into the lead. P1. Alonso is going to come back. Now we're going to push. We'll push hard, actually, here. Let's get Verstappen in. With pushing, creating a gap. And let's get Alonso past a couple of these, if we can. The old switcheroo nearly working for Fernando. The Ferraris are going to double stack, so Sainz isn't going to come out ahead of us. And it's not going to matter, because we're actually into P4. And as we said, if you can get lap 5, it would be beneficial. But tyres are at a peak here. Verstappen comes out in the lead. Alonso coming out in what looks to be when it sorts itself out. P5. Where is P2? Wow. 
a lot to catch here. And that is Max Verstappen, four seconds ahead. What we need to do is get past these straight away. Sadly, we can't get past Albon as easy. Come on. First corner, that's where this is going to be. Now we go for it. Come on. Need this move. And now we've got to hunt down. There is the Red Bull ahead. Is there a chance? Our oh, glory 47. It's going to be like the dry race, I feel. We're going to catch them all the time. We're just not going to have the power unit. We've still got two laps, though. And we, oh, we're catching him very quickly here. Very quickly. Verstappen is clear. Verstappen Red Bull was in trouble. Let's push. Up the inside. Let's go. Just a shame it's not seven laps and we've got to do another one because we've still got to pull away here. And I think we are. With the cup of boost applied, with the right setup, we are faster than the rivals. And that is going to be good for us. Verstappen's going to come down the straight to start this final lap. Alonso, about a straight behind, but it doesn't matter how far he's behind as long as he's in P2. And then we've just got to just got to manage this all the way through. I mean, we've pulled clear. Rival bot is in P13, P21. But there's going to be no dramas. It was time to perfection. We knew the lap they were pitting. We knew that they'd double stack. And Max Verstappen is going to take that P1. With Alonso coming home in P2. And that is good, good work. It is 47 points. Two out of two in this part two video. 94 out of 94. That is what we need as we wait for the rival bot to finish. And we'll show you the setups that we ran for this one as well. So they're just coming round then. P13, Albon finished with P17. Coming home now is Pierre Gasly. And let's round you off with the setups. I'd like to always give you a bit of a brief to see what you can shoot, well, what they're running. 1 3 10, 4 Gasly, 4 Album, and the car setup as well. Not enough cornering in there for that rival at this track. Need full out cornering. It's the only way to go. Race number seven off to Japan then for this one. And I mean, it's been a perfect opening round part two so far. 47 and 47 collected in, well, we could say quite comfortable style. It was under a safety car in the end for Baku, but Japan this time faces a fresh challenge. Let's see what we have got though. 21, 22 starting really far back in this one. Now I'm going to go to softs and I'm going to go to mediums. Now I'm going to actually go put both cars here on a boost that I need to find and it's Nazar, race start and cornering. And we're going to see if we can get a free soft four medium out there. But I mean, learning curve, that is what we're after now, right now. Come on, can we do a good job? So I'm not going to want to push too hard. That's my worry. I mean, we are right at the back here. And hopefully, race start can kick in a little bit as it does. And it does nicely for Alex Albon up to P7. Now, we've left Alonso in. He doesn't have the best race start, but more for tyre management and overtaking. Only drops about five points, though, on the race start. So I think that's OK. Now, Nazar is going to give us Albon better tyres to potentially do that free soft four medium. Might not be able to, though. We might have to stick with the free 2-2. Two, two. And you can see he needs around 67% as he gets to the pit lane. And he's going to be pretty close to that by the look of it. And you can see he is as he takes P1 on his own. That is good stuff. Now, Alonso is going to be doing four mediums, three soft. He's got the better tyre management. So we've just got to let him just come through nicely on his own. I mean, he's not by any stretch losing ground too much here. We should be able to get past our album at the hairpin. We will just push and cut back down. So it's all about just taking your moves when you can get them. And you can see now P1 and P5. Power unit gaining all the time. Now, album 
what I might do is I might run the hards. Now, that is a bit of a stretch. I get it. But it's pretty comfortable at the moment. And with that, I feel like we can push. We're going to be fine. Just a bit of cover off protection. As Alonso into P4. We'll push again to get P3. And looking good for Alonso. Albon's cruising. He's so far clear. So Hart is going to be fine. I mean, I might do mediums for Alonso only because I don't need to risk it. I do not need to risk this at all. See Alonso coming through. Let's go mediums. We, we don't need the softs. We could use softs. We don't really need to here. We're clear. P3 has got a pit. P4 has got a pit. P5 hasn't. But we're already clear with Albon. We're just going to gain power unit as well, just to be on the safe side. And we've got good power unit to defend. Which is easy enough. Race start absolutely game changer, of course, with the race start track stat. And driver stat, should say. So Albon continues. And we're going to come out lovely P1, P2. Just ahead of the Mercedes. And now Alonso can disappear. Now, we could have gone softs, but race management don't need to. We are in complete easy mode. And we've got power unit to defend as well. Look how queer we are, quick we are. P3 Hamilton, P4 Verstappen, both on the hard tyres. Even Leclerc, so they're not going to catch Albon. And they're certainly not going to catch Alonso. About one and a half laps to go. Nice and easy, does it? No safety car trouble. Full power units we might finish on here. I mean, we've hardly used it. Lap one, pretty much it. We are well clear. And we are probably going to finish both on full power units as well. We could push. We don't really need to, though. But we're definitely laughing at the field. We shouldn't be laughing at the field because I think the difficulty should be higher. But for us, we've got three out of three so far. Absolutely spot on. We've got one more race to come, which is that difficult Canada that we seem to be struggling on a lot. But it is in the wet. As Albon completes the job. Lonzo blacks it up not too far away i mean the hards was the right call we just needed to cruise that in the end three lots of 47 141 points in this part two we've got one race to go rivals coming home in p9 and what looks to be at the moment p13 so can we finish strongly at canada you're about to find out 47 points absolutely perfection let's show you what we are running as well there were two level three and the car for the rival was decent on that cornering so here we go then finally race number eight canada where we have struggled before we've got our cornering set up still on what we've done though is we've left alex albon in and the reason for that is to just take the extra little bit of qualifying to move us that little bit forward now he's overtaking he's not amazing we know we need overtaking but this is why i wanted him p16 rather than be at the back now it is wet so we're going on the cup of the air anyway and it's going to be pretty much everybody there it is in on lap four potentially But can we overcome this one? This is one of our toughest tracks. Verstappen starting at the back, low qualifying for him. Can we get through? Albon's going to get off okay here. 
around the outside would be nice. And he's into P11. Look at Verstappen struggling again, though. P22. I think he did okay, actually, in race one. It was Alonso or Perez. I think Perez was quite bad. But P9, Verstappen just only getting into P19 now. Let's try and get some cars through Albon. Flying. P6. Great little move to keep him in. And now Verstappen gets himself into 15th. Can we keep pushing that button and getting him through? We can get Albon through into P5. There is Verstappen coming through as well. Rival is pushing, but P14. And we've got all the cars with us, apart from the Ferrari out front, who is absolutely flying away again. The another car always seems to fly away here. Verstappen's going backwards, though, more because the rival is pushing. But as Albon gets into P4, Verstappen is still P15. Always one car seems to struggle a little bit to get through. We're not going to get through there. Can we get through at turn one? The answer is yes. And still a lot of work to do again. So it just feels like we maybe need a little bit more qualifying from our driver and forget, I mean, how are we going backwards? I don't quite understand because we should be so quick. It is pretty annoying. But everyone's going to be in. We're going to make some ground because there's going to be some double stacks. And then we've got to just try and manage this the best we can. Verstappen's into P12 now. Getting past P Astri would be nice. And Alonso now into P10. Couple of moves, that's what was needed. Look at the Red Bull and Ferrari P1, P2. Just got to gain some power unit. Remember, we're only halfway through here. But we I feel like we definitely need a bit more qualifying in Canada. Not on the car, just on the drivers. So maybe we look at a different type tomorrow. As long as we get through, you never know what these crazy groups are doing. So double stacks are going to be happening here. Albon is out in P3. Verstappen out in P8. Rival ahead of us. Let's push early. And we're into P7. That is what we need. We're right behind Perez. I mean, we're not going to catch these up from a Verstappen point of view. As we do, start all over the back of Perez. Verstappen into the hairpin. Oh, loses a position. Come on, Max. You can get some moves here. We're trying. We are absolutely trying. There's a move. Is it a move? Double move. Come on, P5. Still not 47 in these races. Not Canada. Seems to be our bogey track right now. Let's push Albon to get the lead. And in lead, he will shout. Let's cut Verstappen down, though, on the straight. We're going to leave Albon on conserve. If he can hold up the rival, that is going to be the hope. If he does drop to P2, we're going to have to just push and see what happens. You can see holding them up enough, but no way I don't think Verstappen does catch these up anyway. He's not got the power unit. So let's send... Albon and secure it. Going to be 45 points though, I think. Or 44, I should say. No, it is 45. I did think 45. But either way, we still got, I thought that was the last lap, if I'm honest. It wasn't. So maybe we could have held him up a little bit more. Got a little bit carried away. Now we're on the last lap. I think we should have maybe probably pushed him a little bit closer here. Because we're right on the back. Right on the back of them. I mean, we could get P3, actually, here. Out of this corner we go. Hairpin's our best shot of a move. Round the outside. And now we chase Perez. We're not going to get him. But I tell you what, he's come through. And he's come through nicely. P1 for Albon. P3 for Verstappen. We probably could have held him up a little bit more. But I just didn't quite realise... I thought we were a lap ahead of where we were, but still, good job. I think if we didn't get stuck at the back for so long, and we started a little bit higher, 
with the chance we could have scored good points or even that extra point. We still do score good points. 46. Better than race one in Canada, that's for sure. Rival running Alonso and Verstappen and also a quite higher speed setup. They need more cornering in there for sure. Obviously, qualifying is higher as well. But I think qualifying on the driver is a bit more key. Let's show you then how we've got on. Four races done in the second part, and we score 367. So we actually finish around as a laugh, but that's good. I mean, look at that when you look at the scores. Nearly a perfect second part of the video, and we actually scored very well apart from that race one, that bad matchup against a good friend, an old member. And we'll take that. We will take 367 into tomorrow with some learning, and hopefully we can repeat it. Let me know down below how did you get on and I look forward to seeing what you've got.